Hello and welcome to Emma Reads Reddit. Today I'm reading from r slash ask reddit. But first let's play r slash drunk or a kid. Inspired by how I met your mother, I give you a real life scenario and you guess whether it was a drunk or a kid. This one was posted by Scarlet Skin. Lick the window at a local establishment to get a person's attention. But was this a drunk person or a kid? Find out at the end of the video. Now back to r slash ask reddit, where J. Wayne Donson posted this. You're a hitman that only kills someone at their most inconvenient moment. At what moment do you strike? I always wondered why more people didn't get murdered while they're peeing. It almost seems like even in nature, animals just won't stoop that low. I've seen dogs ferociously playing and stop when the other pees. In traffic, right when their light turns green, Everyone behind them will be furious. They'll be dead and causing a bunch of trouble. And it'll take a couple of cycles before anyone calls the cops. And then the whole intersection gets closed, creating a traffic jam. Just when they finally get to speak to a human after waiting hours on hold for Comcast. At 6.05pm, while desperately needing to use the toilet while waiting for a package that's supposed to be delivered between 6am and 6pm, I would wait for the exact moment they start to wee and then ring the doorbell. No package, only murder. Right after they survive a near death experience. End of a marathon, right before the line. When their number just got called at the DMV. Just after someone tried walking through a door and got their pocket caught in the handle. When they're at the cash register trying to grab the bag, their wallet, the change and stuff the bills in the wallet while grabbing their seat and fretting about the people in line who hate them because they took an extra five seconds. When they're putting on their underwear after a shower but their pinky toe got stuck on the hem and they're stumbling trying to get their toe untangled before falling over. When both of their hands are dirty and they need to answer a phone call. While they're on their way to their lawyer's office to write a will. Just as they are about to sneeze. When they have both arms full of bags of groceries and the bubble guts. I'ma wait till their phones are finally fully charged and they're about to unplug them and roll over. When they're trying to find a recipe but the blogger decided to tell their life story and now there's a pop-up video taking a quarter of the screen. When my victim is just one hit away from defeating the final boss of a video game. Payday. The exact moment they fix a McDonald's ice cream machine. After slipping and consequently dropping their entire family Panda Express meal in the middle of the food court at the local mall. That is when I strike. Just before they nut. When they miss the last stair and think they caught themselves but there's actually another stair to miss. Right on a Friday so they never see the weekend. Oh I'm about to die, oh no! Saturday and Sunday I'll never see you! While they're having one of those, hey, God, it's me, shits when you're in tears and naked. Right after, they get a job because I love inconveniencing multiple people at the same time. What I've learned from Mario Kart Tour is that you hit them with a shell after they go over a jump and their glider opens. Non-gamers probably won't understand that one. When they're putting together a crib they got from Ikea and just realised that C screws are actually very different from the D screws. So now they have to remove them all from panel G. But they weren't designed to be removed so the screws are starting to strip and there aren't enough extra screws to replace them. Actually at this point, I think I'm doing them a favour. When they run out of toilet paper and have to walk to the other room to get a new roll with their pants around their ankles and shit still on their ass. I would kill them halfway through an episode of their favourite TV show, right before their pizza rolls finished microwaving. Or wait until the pizza rolls come out and are still temp lava, and they're eagerly waiting for them to cool to temp, still way too hot to eat but I'm going to burn the roof of my mouth anyway. When they've just stubbed their toe on a corner and are screaming obscenities. Or deep horrible paper cut on your finger just starts burning like, ouch, this is going to hurt. Burning sweet Mary and Joseph, that burns. Then it's almost bearable. And you know the worst is through. Then bang, an axe to the face. Seconds after high school graduation. 
It would be better right before they cross the stage for the diploma. Like, nope, sucker, you didn't make it. You got dropped like a dropout. I don't. I take the money and use it to find an apartment close to them, monitoring their every move to where I can force a pseudo-natural interaction and meet them. I then continue the friendship with it slowly blossoming over time and trust gets built up. Then I begin a romantic relationship with them after I've fallen for them myself due to some psychological BS. Then, after a long time together, I finally reveal to them that I was once hired to kill them and explain to them how I went against my employer and decided I couldn't after falling in love with the shine of their eyes. That night, we go to bed in a tight embrace, with them knowing I will never and have never had any intention to kill them. Then I strike. You psychopath! When they're about to yawn, maybe even try to get them to yawn by yawning myself, then pew pew! Right after they escape my basement, and stop to adjust to the brightness of daylight. You're in an airport bathroom, halfway done with some slap splat traveller's diarrhoea. You hear the final boarding call for your flight that's still ten gates away. You reach for some toilet paper to finish up and grasp a single tattered square hanging on the lonely roll. You pull it off and it separates into several pieces. Your finger pokes through the biggest piece before you can use it. The travellers in the next several stalls are speaking loudly in another language and their kids are staring at you through the stall crack. They keep giggling and shaking the door. Your phone rings, loudly playing your nickelback ringtone. You answer. It's your pet sitter. Fluffy just door darted and got ran over. In your shock, you drop the phone and it bounces off the toilet side and slides across the floor into the unknown. At that exact moment, your carry-on bag and personal item tote fall over and hit you in the face, scattering keepsakes and lip balm galore. You flinch, and your keys splunk into the toilet. Boom! I drop from the ceiling and give you a super wedgie until death! Finn When would you strike? Let me know in the comments. Now back to r slash drunk or a kid. So who was the person who licked a window for attention? It was a drunk. Drunk AF. I thought this one was a kid. Did you guess right? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed what you have heard, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss anything from Emma Reads Reddit. See you tomorrow.